Hi guys, uh, Gigi here. Um, many of you uh, wrote in the comments and asked me uh, to uh, show you a little bit more about the dye inverter. Um, it's night now, uh, there is no sun, I have no time during the day to make these videos, so bear with me, we will, I will show you with the, with the, the battery on and all that. Um, so many of you asked me how I uh, uh, connected the gazer to the to the die and the, the batteries and the, some stuff about the operations of the of the die. So let's go a little bit uh, closer and uh, see some some things. So a little bit about the connections. Uh, we have the grid input here, and we have a generator port uh, here. Oh, this is the grid connection, and then on the right side we have the generator and the load port. Um, on this uh, hybrid inverter we have a BMS port, a Modbus port, a meter port, and two connections for the parallel. Uh, the BMS is connected uh, on CAN to my pylon tech batteries, you will see them in a little bit. Uh, on the meter I have connected the meter directly it's uh, Eastron uh, 630 uh, connected to, uh, to this and I also have the solar assistant connected on the BMS port on um, RS485 uh, uh, so I have two uh, from this CAT6 cable I have two wires uh, going on CAN to the um, uh, Pylon Tech and uh, RS485 uh, uh, going to the Solar Assistant. And I kept also the CT coils uh, in case the meter fails because sometimes I have a meter warning uh, communication with the meter. I try to solve it with different uh, firmware upgrades. I've tried uh, with the CAN termination on on uh, on uh, the wire here and on the meter nothing helped i still get these warnings and they started coming uh, a few months ago i don't know why um, but yeah this is uh, how it is uh, right now so on the load port which i use as a ups i have connected my server by the way the sound you hear in the background it's not the inverter that's my server, uh, the fans are going in and the ventilation for the server. So that's not the inverter, that's the server, there's the sound. Just to be clear. So, um, on the generator port, I set it up in the die as a smart port, smart load. And the load port, uh, it's used as a UPS for my servers and the uh, router and, and stuff like that. Uh, so if we go into the settings, uh, and gen port use I said it's a smart load output and always on grid yeah by the way right now I'm running the batteries on voltage mode because I am uh, trying to balance very good cells and I don't want to load more than 52.5 volts on the, on the batteries and I cannot do that by BMS the BMS will uh, charge up to 53.2 and I don't want that right now I want max uh, 52.5 or 7 I don't remember exactly. Um, okay, this one it's... Okay, let's go out. So the battery right now, I use battery voltage. Now, as I said, on my uh, smart load, I have uh, the water gazer and on the other one, I have the server. Up here, if we uh, look, I have this is uh, the wire coming down from the from the inverter going up to this uh, breaker this is the breaker for the generator lo smart load and this is for the load port so if i stop the generator i will stop my uh, my gazer uh, up here i have the panels uh, south and west up and down uh, and some other uh, things i have that's all this it's on the output of the inverter so all, all this uh, stuff it's on the output of the inverter this is a secondary panel i have here in the garage now uh, ignore all the labels 
and this is the water gazer and this is uh, another heater for an um, accumulation uh, buffer I have from my uh, solar uh, water heater um, and I put extra breakers here why because these are Wi-Fi and I want to control them with the um, home assistant um, for example if the power is sufficient on the panels start this and uh, start the water gazer the water gazer it's uh, heating water on a buffer uh, tank about 500 or 600 liters of water or maybe more I don't know exactly because I never measured and this one it's hitting uh, another buffer tank of about I don't know 60 100 liters or something like that so let's say I have enough uh, electricity to heat my water during the day because there is sunny and I want to start the, the gazer I will just have it on my uh, Tuya and I will just say start the warmer of the house and the relay will go up and start heating the water as you can see it already started consumption I turn it off and the consumption will go down uh, I uh, set it up to take only uh, 80 amps from the batteries because I don't want to uh, drain too much and I want to balance the cells uh, very good in the next few days. So this is for the uh, ga uh, gazer, uh, water heater, for the buffer tank, as I said, and this is for the small uh, buffer tank I have here, uh, a few hundred liters of, of water for uh, daily usage. So this all is on the on the programmable uh, smart output uh, and port. So uh, let's say you have uh, battery enough. Let's say the 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 smart port will start uh, will turn on at uh, 40 volts and off at 50. It's totally wrong because it should be a number under. So it will start when your battery is 48 volts and it will off when your battery is 41. But I said always on because I'm on, on grid. So let's say you have enough battery, sun is shining, you want to start hitting the water, uh, the smart uh, port will uh, uh, give power and then you can start hitting your, uh, your water. So in this way you can uh, play a little bit and uh, hit the water during the day when you have sun. Uh, in my case, I do this uh, with the uh, home assistant and I, char and I start a heater when um, the power is cheap in the night. So when it's cheap in the night, I start it, I heat it up until 60 degrees. The buffer, uh, 600, 700 liters, I don't know how much it is exactly. And I have a buffer of, of hot water uh, that will go through a heat exchanger and heat the house. So this is this is how the the smart port works. Uh, let's say uh, my service on the on the load port on the UPS. I like to call it UPS side, <coughs> and I will turn off the grid. Let's see. I will turn off the grid. I have here. Relay. Now the grid is off. The grid is off here. And. You can hear my server it's still running because it's on the ups i'm not uh, pushing any power towards the house right now because the grid is off uh, and is normal but everything that's on the load port it's still on and it's still running uh, also the smart it's still running because my battery is not it's 49 volts and i said the smart port has to stop at 41 or what how much was it yeah uh, stop at 41 so it will still run if i say off the smart port at uh, 49 I can go can I go higher no so let's say I will say on at 50 see this is another bug you should not be able to go over my voltage on at 48 
and off column and off at 51. Tip. Okay, and now the smart should just go off. We will, uh, it will take a while, it's not instant. And it will uh, cut the smart load. So now the smart load is on. I don't have any more smart. And we can see my relays, my breakers are off. Uh, I will put it back on grid. Turn on the grid. AC, it's on. It will take a few seconds to uh, to come on, and then the smart port will turn on again because uh, the inverter goes on grid. So that was about uh, the water heater, the connections uh, I have, and so on. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, See you in my next video about the about the pylon tech.